Hello everybody, this is Bench85 and welcome to another episode of Surviving Minecraft. And we are back home. And I can officially say home. Because after exploring a bunch, I have decided that this island right here, if I bring up the map, we are going to base most of our stuff on this island. I like our location. It's going to be level. We're not going to be building in a cliff or anything like that, digging. Uh, most of it's going to be on the surface, so it's going to be a little bit different. We do have a lot of trees to take down, though. And in order to do that, I did not want to do it with a hatchet. Um, if you watch my channel update, you'll know that it was a pain in the butt to climb up and get all those things. So what we're going to need to do is upgrade to a tool forge. I'm almost out of food too, I gotta remember that. Tool Forge, which as you guys remember, is gonna take some iron, or depending on what you use. This uses aluminum, steel, alumite, or alumite. I would love to do it out of emeralds. Oh, there's even a diamond one. No, we're gonna do iron. I suppose I could do copper, but this is bronze, right? Yeah. No, we're going to do iron, so we're going to need it. Well, what I found out, enhanced biomes or do not work in a smeltery. So then you have to figure out, well, what do you do? Well, I looked into the config, and there is a config setting that you can change that even though it shows like this it will always drop its vanilla counterpart and so I just had to change that quick and now all of them that we mine will drop our vanilla counterpart which actually is really beneficial because it means that things are gonna stack properly so we have four of them here Oh, how come we're not working? I wonder if it has to do with the size of the smeltery. Um, does it have? Molten iron, 650 degrees. Okay, that's good and all, but what are the actual temps levels? I don't know if this will actually show it. Actually, um, book, 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 book. Don't I have the smelting book somewhere here? Here we go. It's probably in here. I know I don't have a three by three. Casting channel. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to have to look this up quick and I'll come back to you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so I think I have it figured out. And if that's the case, it's unfortunate, but it's something I'm going to have to deal with for now. I guess then I can't get Certus Quartz, no. So if you look at the ore, you'll notice that it's the, uh, the item number is 15 colon 1. Regular Minecraft is 15. I don't know if this actually shows up in here. So they've all got their own their own IDs and I think that's the problem it's not gonna work because it's 15 colon 1 
Now it'll work in a pulverizer, it'll work in all of your other machines, but it just won't work in the smeltery. So that means we're going to have to go basically one to one with them. Uh, we won't be able to do any ore doubling for now. So I'm down here in the cave. I can't get you. But I can get you. And I'm just kind of grabbing some of the stuff that's here. Here's some more iron. Well, that one went up above. And some poor iron, which is from Railcraft. Poor iron comes in these large deposits here. But when you, you can only smelt them in a furnace. And you, it drops a nugget instead of an ingot. There's something coming. I need to get out of here. That's right. Oh, can I get tin? No, I can't. I need the next tier up to get tin. So that means I'm going to have to grab... Let's see, if I do the math... Ooh, uranium. Ooh, a rock hive. That's right, there's bees in here. Uh, I need four blocks, nine of each, so that's 36. Eulorium. Oh, lovely. I need 36 ingots. Of course, what? 40 of these guys is f 4 ingots on their own. Hey, you. Ow. Stop it. Except there's going to be more here. Yeah, this real craft stuff is interesting. These poor ores. It's a slow way to get your, your ores if you do it that way. Because it just takes time to mine stuff out. This is an area that I have not looked at yet. Oh wow, there's a bunch of cave above too. So yeah, this might turn into a little bit of a caving episode. Because I don't know what's all down here. I hear a zombie for sure. There is so much of that poor ore all over the place. Torch run. Look at it all. Oh. You are not wanted. Double hit. Got him. That was a bit of a scary turn as I came around the corner there. I must admit, this is one of the largest cave systems I have seen. Ouch. I'm thinking he's going to follow me. Yep, he's following me. Alright, let's get a whole bunch of this stuff. Oh, there's another cave above me. Lovely, so things can drop down on me. Just what I always wanted. So it looks like we're going to be doing a lot of this with uh, the poor horse. Which means I'm going to have to grab some extra coal. Ooh. Got the diamond modifier. Which gives me extra durability to work with. Which is nice for long mining trips. This is quite the deposit here. is a huge deposit. If I get enough iron here, I will also be able to upgrade my pick here, which is another thing I want to do. I'm wondering if 
Railcraft added in support for the Tinker Smeltery. I could check it, but I really don't want to look at the moment. Because I'm afraid to stop what I'm doing. Somebody's going to sneak up behind me or something. I wonder, too, how close I'm going to be to getting the, uh, the mining XP. Because remember, I'm gaining mining XP even though I'm at the copper level here for the iron level. If you want to call it that. I mean, my copper pick is actually at the iron level. It's boosted. But the next pick up, the iron pick, um, is going to be stuck at the iron level until it upgrades. And then I have to figure out what's the next tier. No, 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 no. Not happening. Not on my watch. I need to eat though. Mining seems to take a lot of fatigue out of you. Of course, jumping around does too, so. And there goes the torch. Alright, so there's a lot of cave left here to, s to explore. Ah. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Bane of arthropods for the win. There's a creeper there. I think there's a spider right around this column. There he is. And there's another one. Gotcha. So what's all back here? Dang, this is a big cave. Cool part is, is there's going to be so many resources that I haven't been able to touch because I don't have the mining levels for it that we're going to have to visit here numerous times. Here's some more skeletons. I'm definitely going to want to upgrade. It's a big level down there. To machines quickly so that we can start processing this stuff. And I know I've got just the poor ores that I've been getting lately. Um, should at some point start finding dense ores because I have that installed as well oh, there's the skeleton and stuff they're taking damage down there on the ore berry bushes which I have no problem with alright I got a bunch of stuff I'm headed back up I'll meet you guys back home and see if I can there's so much cave here. Oh, that's just a wraparound. Uh, see if we can get enough, or if we have enough iron. Otherwise, i got to come back down here. But I think I've got enough with all of the different little uh, poor ores that I have. There's so many of them. And i got to remember how to get out of here. This way. That's not that way. Here we go. This this looks better. I think. Yeah. Okay, this is the exit. Alright, I'll see you guys at home. <clears throat> so I may have gotten myself in a bit of a bind. Um, it was nighttime out and there were some zombies in here and I had been killing zombies like you wouldn't believe. Oh man. Um, what can I get rid of? Uh, 
that will get rid of that cobble. So I want to be able to get the heads. So it's now daytime. I was running into a lot of trouble. By the way, I've got another thing of haste on here uh, because I became an expert at it. And this guy gained a couple things. He got reinforced to the skill level master. And I got the emerald, which is durability plus 50%. And I have two modifiers left to put on it. But it's now day, so I should be able to walk out here now. So, I was getting quite worried there. That's why I brought you guys back, because I was down to really low health. And uh, the only food I had was zombie flesh, which, with the hunger aspect of it, with hunger overhaul, is brutal. But we are alive, we are kicking, we are good to go. So, I survived, at least. At least this time I did. But I really don't want to eat this stuff. We really need to we need to set up a farm pretty here soon pretty we yeah. I cannot talk tonight. We need to set up a farm pretty soon. I can't even pick up the dirt. So, we have 39 which is a lot of iron ore. Um, oh yeah, I was cooking that up. There we go. We should have plenty of coal for now. Plenty of coal on me. So this should work for melting down copper, right? Yeah. See, that's what I thought. I didn't check to see. I'm going to check to see if that works. Oh, we get two nuggets oh sure enough we get two nuggets from it well it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be we we have plenty of iron by the way to make it so my guys I want to see what the poor iron ore does in here does it start heating Oh, it does. Okay, so does it double it? That's my question. Um, so if you get two per normally, if you get four, four times six is 24. Now I want, let's see, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I can't fit that many in. I need to do it with one after that. <laughs> the textures are really, really weird on it. I'll put one more in after that heats up. They seem to heat up pretty fast. And if it's quadrupling, or I mean doubling, we should be able to get four ingots worth out of the nine that we put in. Otherwise, we're only going to get uh, two ingots worth. I'm not even going to look at this until after I get the last one smelting. We'll get that one going. We got 16 here. Which I need two more. 32. And this hits 36. I can pull it out and make some ingots as well. Getting there, getting there. Thirty-six. So this should be yeah, four of them. We're almost there. And this guy is almost done. Almost done. 
survey says two ingots. So it's not uh, it's not any better to put it in here. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Actually, well, I still have an ingot in there. We should totally do this. Iron ingot or iron pickaxe head. Oh, you have to be fully repaired. Well, hurry your butt back up to there. Your head's way down. Uh, do I have any iron or yeah, copper ingots? Let's just repair it quick. That's not quick. I guess we're going to have to get some more ingots here. Not a problem. Actually, I'm going to start melting down a bunch more copper here. Oh. I'm excited to get an iron pickhead. No go away, Storm. How close are we? Ah, we'll just do it again. Wait for this. <gasps> Iron pickaxe. Oh, and we are 21 blocks short of upgrading it up to the next. See that? The mining XP, 21 short. Well, that'll be easy to do. Ah, what was I doing here? That right there should be enough. I don't know why I'm doing this singly. I should have used, just spread them out normally. We need four of those. Oh, we're gonna need more of these bricks. Cause we need three of those bricks. Just thought of that. If I throw you in there, you're going to make some uh, bronze, aren't you? That's okay. I could use a little bit more bronze. And how is this guy still not... He's almost there. I need to be able to put a modifier on him. Is this clay? I have the other items to make the grout. I just didn't have clay. Oh, I gotta get up, I gotta get up. Oh, I'm gonna take damage. Ow, ow. Ooh, only two hearts. Not too bad. Of course, I don't have any inventory space. A little bit of aluminum brass. For some reason, it didn't even out correctly. Oh, because I didn't have, uh, I know why. No, I don't want the leather. I want one more of you guys. It wasn't an even uh, three per, because it's three to one ratio. Um, grout. This stuff. Uh, let's just make it all. Throw you in there. I don't need much. Um, this is the tool station. So it should be tool station here. Blocks there. Don't know why I put that away. So we need two more. And we're almost there. Ooh, we're melting down pretty good. Now it should be, yep, an even number of eight. We might want to consider making a 
casting basin. Because that much copper is a lot of copper to pour out per ingot. And of course, casting basin lets us do it uh, per block. One more, come on. Almost there. Perfect. Nope, I gotta do it in here. One, two, tool forge. That lets us look at all of the awesome, cool new things. Like this guy, the bolts for the crossbow. We have a long bow here. The short bow is down here. The same one we had before. We have shurikens. Shurikens, shurikens, depending on how you want to say it. And... Oh, and a throwing knife. Nice. Everything else should be the same, I believe. Yep. Uh, so, do we have any extra panel? Yep, we have some extra stencils. So, I'm going to make a large plate and a broadhead axe. Now, this will tell us what we can make it out of. Stone won't obviously work. Looks like it's going to have to be most likely a type of metal. So we'll probably make some stone molds quick. Can I do it with this? No. But I can do it with wood. Right? No, I can't. That's right. Well, that's an interesting predicament. I have to think about that one. Could do that in another rack. That's a thought. But I also like to do it out of stone. Yeah, because you can make them out of stone. It shows that. Or obsidian, but I don't want to do it out of obsidian. Those other ones are nether materials, those woods. I thought for sure. Guess not. Guess that just won't work. All right, let me figure something out here. All right, guys, so I did what I did before. I did a straight up trade, uh, put cobble in for other cobble. So I got those two guys. I just realized I took the aluminum brass out. So we should only need two of them, I believe. If I remember correctly, I'm going to throw in another stack of that. Let that keep working. Because we need ourselves a mold. Put that at the bottom. And then we should be able to do this. Perfect. Oh, you know what? We're going to need a large binding too, aren't we? We need a large... And the other guy too. So we need this guy, which is a tough tool binding, and we're also going to need a tough rod. Lightning hit close that time. Same type of thing. Yep. I wonder what it would take to make one out of 
the plastic because you can make it out of MFR plastic. These guys. And raw plastic is made by smelting. Rubber bars. Rubber bars are made by smelting. Okay, I already have some of that. Somewhere. Yeah, I've got seven of these. Um, what can you do? Smelting, you get charcoal. Sawmill, you get more rubber bars. Maybe we should make something out of plastic. I don't know. Either way, we're going to make a copper axe head here. Perfect. And we need the large plate. And hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to collect, I'm going to wait for this stuff to finish anyways. I'm going to collect some more rubber um, from the rubber trees. There you can see what I gave. And I'm going to make some molds um, from the plastic. So I will be right all right guys so if you smelt up the little drops like I said you get rubber bars and then if you smelt up the rubber bars you get the raw plastic and the raw plastic is not what you need now it told me that and I already made two of them it requires three material cost well I found out if I make these up that if you put three of them in you don't get anywhere but if you put six in it works now I'm gonna make a second one of these guys because I'm gonna use that tough binding but I also want to make up two um, two more patterns So I figure I'll just make it with this. Makes it simple. And really they're not that expensive. There's a lot of rubber trees around here. And on top of that, I have a lot of saplings. And this is the one I need. Okay, so let's build this guy. Throw him in. Nope, they want the tough rod. <laughs> it's hard to shift click them in. There we go. A copper lumber axe. It's not too bad. I think we should try it out though. So the ideal thing would be is to top down one of these pine trees because they are big. And they get in my way. I got zombies following me. Because I want to be able to clear these out. So what does it do? Oh, that is so nice. Durability is not too bad. I'm hoping that counts as multiple. Yeah, skill level of 16 used already. So each one will take a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. All right, we have a lumber axe, finally. That took a lot of effort to get to this. And we also have ourselves an iron pickaxe, which is not far away from 
taking off tin, and I believe I'm gonna have to go look. Now we got wood for days with this stuff. I believe the next tier will be bronze. Uh, there it is. Mining level of redstone. Yes, I believe that is the next. The next level. Does it show me? Yep, mining level tin. So we'll have to make a bronze pickaxe head, which, if you remember, molten bronze, copper, which we can get, and tin. It's a three to one ratio. And an upgraded iron pickaxe, we'll be able to get tin. So we'll be able to upgrade pretty quickly, which will allow us to get redstone and then I'm gonna have to figure out what the next level is because this is interesting you know having to level stuff up but I have a feeling I am running way over on time for some reason it feels like this episode has been a lot longer than I probably should have made it so I'm gonna get going I'm just clearing some of these trees still oh it's so nice to have a lumber axe again I have missed you we just got to get it upgraded far enough we can get some auto repair on it so that it doesn't break on us. And we're, oh, we're f almost a fifth or over a fifth of the way there because if we upgrade it to the next level of XP, we will be able to put auto repair on. So I think we'll be able to do it before it breaks, which will be awesome. So with that, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, Take it easy.